Hello there, welcome back to Great Britain. So, last time I messed up, I lost most of my, <laughs> most, I lost most of, wow, I lost most of my armies, and as a result of that, there aren't really that much I can do anymore, in this war that is, and as you can see, yeah, 60,000 men, it's not that much, but it, it's something. Russia still has 140,000 men, however, and I can always rely on them to try and win this war for me, and I guess I will do that for a little while longer. The immediate fear, however, is, that, of course, that they will just peace out, then everyone will, well, not be happy. It will be, in this case, I won't be happy. I did a couple of bad decisions last uh, game, which was, amongst others, that I decided to hunt down their army rather than just uh, sit by peacefully in my little, well, hidey hole and uh, have them attack me time and time again. Instead, I challenged them, and as a result of that, I lost... Uh, quite substantially in a couple of battles, and with that, my army suddenly vanished. I also am pretty sure that I was attacked by either the UI show the wrong amount of uh, of morale, or I was hit by some sort of bug, because my army had 50% morale and still was wiped out by a 3,000 men squad. So I have no idea, as I said, if that's a, uh, if it was hit by a bug, or if the UI just showed wrong, if if something along those lines could have happened, I'm a little bit, as I said, I'm a little bit unsure on the uh, on the exact details, but not too much I can do about that right now. I will attempt at least to get a mercenary army up and running again, and then we'll march this army over, try and see if we can make something uh, work with Bohemia. Pretty sure that I can't. I have no idea if I can just prime these guys out, however, uh, even if that will work. No, they want other concessions than gold, so I might actually just be... Uh, I might actually be a bit trashed there. I might have to release a nation, potentially, which is bad no matter how you look at it. And what do, would I want to release in that case? Provence, perhaps? No, not really. Uh, Scotland? Nope. Throne Wales? Nope. Portugal? Never. I don't want to release anything. I might just have to give up either Norway, potentially, or Denmark as a vassal. I'm pretty sure I can just revassalize Norway, so it's not really that much of a problem if I were to release them. But uh, we'll see. Bohemia is making gains is also a definite uh, problem here. But again, I can always try and rely on the Russians. I can try and join up these two armies in uh, in Holstein and uh, try and attack them. It could work out, especially if I actually uh, am allowed to build up my armies again. Could also use this manpower to build up again a proper army. I'll probably have to walk the ho over there, however, since the Swedes actually have uh, supremacy of the sea with their nine big ships. So. It's not all good, but I can at least uh, try and start making some moves here that can potentially put me back in the driver's seat. We'll simply have to uh, have to wait and see, but hopefully I can pull something off. We'll see how it goes. Well, I was saying that things were going well, but just as I said that, I died. Rise of a Pretender, Goddess with George. Of course, the Pretenders also rise up in Yorkshire, so I will not be able to deal with that, I think. And I'm also a little bit unsure if I want these guys to keep on protecting trade in areas where they might actually, uh, or where I might actually lose some more ships. So uh, yeah, things are things are looking a little bit precarious at the moment. But again, I think I can pull something off here if I choose my battles, go for this army on Rupin. Just again, choosing my battles will be uh, will be key here if I want to survive. I think. Am I one over now? Yes, I am. So I don't want to break my my time switch, so to speak. Alliance with Milan, Royal Marriage with Savoy, Military Axe with Netherlands, The Hansa, Holstein, Lunenburg. I think I actually need all of these, but with uh, that much of diplomatic power, it shouldn't be an issue. We'll also go ahead here and go for the Wolf, which is diplomatic level 12. Naval Equipment Factory and Trade Company. Both could be uh, really, really useful. Apparently, I'm hiring some more mercenaries here. And I think I'll actually end up with quite a big mercenary army down the line. But for now, as I said, we'll just allow things to go as they are. I still have Russia seizing most of Sweden, and hopefully they can end up helping with Bohemia. We'll see. Uh, for the war that's going on overseas, no problems are being reported, and it should be over very soon. We'll see how this all uh, ends up. Well, this is kind of bad here. Pomerania has accepted a peace deal with uh, the enemy. And that is, of course, bad because it puts me in a position where I potentially have to uh, have to run. I've been doing some guerrilla tactics here, and as a result of that, we've gotten war score a little bit down. I've also taken out some of their troops. Uh, all in all, the plan here is not probably going to work that well, all things considered. But uh, again, if I can just stay clear of this bigger army, then I should be fine. Uh, that is at least what I'm hoping for. 
We'll also be joining up the uh, squads here. Yeah, we'll be joining these guys up and attempting to uh, to send them uh, to deal with the Pretender. Shouldn't be an issue at all, hopefully. I think I'll actually join up here just to be safe that it doesn't get hit by that. This fleet here and destroyed. I don't, I don't want... I don't want to screw myself over by suddenly getting myself killed. Let me put it that way. And hopefully yeah, I can just uh, keep on picking on the smaller armies. It's Again, it's kind of a long shot. But I'm pretty sure that the behemoths can't actually march into these lands. So if I, well, pick my battles here, so to speak, I could potentially uh, get back into this, I think. So uh, if I'm lucky, I can uh, I can make something happen. We'll simply have to wait and see if... Uh, is something good. Right now I think we still outnumber them fairly substantially so again if I can just have the Russians take over Sweden and hopefully not screw anything up during it while doing so I'm pretty sure we can make something work here again and I'm going to take a risk here. That risk involves attacking this army without yeah that one will actually join up and help so we'll not be doing that. I guess we'll actually abandon the siege here and send these 20,000 men down here to help. We'll also be joining up another these guys as soon as they're dealt with the Pretender Rebels here. So again, there's a lot of uh, potential here for what will happen in the future, but for now, and the war here for the two provinces here in Otava, make Newfoundland a, well, single colony more or less. And also, as I said here, we'll deal with the Pretenders, then we'll send this fleet and navy over here. And hopefully here we can deal with the army then. Well, that is actually uh, pretty s sweet of them. I think this army needs to... Uh, be put down because if I do not then I'm going to get trampled here I think can also give up uh, my deal with Lunenburg they don't serve any purpose anymore so no they're actually coming back here I shouldn't have uh, I shouldn't have attacked so so soon probably my biggest mistake here no they're not actually moshing off I was hoping they were, were going to just well leave but wasn't that lucky I got some more six maneuver tree shock and zero fire that is useless but as I said here, we'll get our troops into position, and hopefully I can, again, make a comeback into this. We'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, I didn't pay too much attention to this uh, Spectre, and as a result of that, I currently ended up being attacked here and defeated. I actually lost the entirety of the army, which is a little bit surprising, no matter how I look at it. And right now, my armies here are in, in bad shape, really. They... I'm no idea where these guys are actually going, but even so... As I said here, they are in bad shape, things are not looking good. If I could have uh, somehow get my hands on that army, then things would be look good, but that uh, is not going to happen. Rebels in Andalusia managed to take control, so that is bad. We are just going to accept here, I think. Uh, losing 25 prestige is of course a hard hit, but not really too much I can do about that right now. And I'm again a little bit unsure how I want to deal with this. Yeah, I, def I definitely need to to make something happen here. They're actually going down to deal with that army there, so I think I can actually send this one up north without uh, any problems at all, more or less. Why are you creating trouble here? Can we beat them? No. For some reason, I can't beat the uh, beat this uh, these nine big ships. So not really too much I can do here. We'll just go back to harbor, and I'll have to rebuild my navies from scratch after this. I think they need an upgrade out anyway, so it's not really that surprising. I also need to move troops over in this, well, area. But for now, we'll just colonize uh, this province right here. I know I sound probably really down, but again, timing here. Perfect. My timing. Horrible. Hmm. Can I make something work here? Probably not. I'm going to hit on the... Yeah, they're going... They're doing a hilarious amount of damage compared to uh, compared to me here. Let them go. I guess we'll let them go. And I'm probably going to lose this army as well. Of course. So as you can see, the Bohemian armies are quite stronger than I anticipated. And I'm a little bit surprised about that. They're military tech behind. They have defensive ideas, and they also have offensive, so I guess it actually makes kind of sense, but even so, it's kind of uh, kind of annoying here. How are we doing in terms of peace? Do you guys uh, want peace? You want me to do what? 
Release Mecklenburg and Brittany are sovereign states. Nope, I will not be doing that. There's not actually that much that needs to be filled out here, so if I give up my deal with Russia, they haven't actually been that useful. They've basically just been cannon fodder at this stage. I'll give you a ton of gold. Well, I don't think that sounds like a good idea. Can I release East Frisia, but do I want to? Again, I think I can peacefully massalize them, so it's not really a problem. I have no idea if they actually fix this so there's some sort of deal that would potentially prevent me from peacefully massalizing these guys again. But again, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there aren't. So I'm just going to get a Royal Marriage with them. And again, taking or oh, releasing East Frisia is probably a horrible idea, but right now I'm going to lose this war. I'm just going to keep on Hitting my head against something that can't be beaten at this stage. Sweden getting first the union with Poland, then Bohemia really set me up here for one hell of a bad trip. So I think what we're actually going to focus on right now is Castile Aragon. And uh, Norway, we're just going to go straight out in the next, I think. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure if I actually want to focus on fighting for these uh, few provinces up here. Or if I just want to, as I said, annex them. I'm a little bit unsure here. Can I actually. Yeah, I could potentially hand things over to Russia. But again, don't really want to. So I guess we'll actually go for that. As I said, release East Frisia. It's uh, a little bit more war score than necessary. But as I said, unless they change it, I should be able to piece the vassalize them again right away, more or less. So uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't be too much of a problem here. Kind of sending it, yeah. So I should be able to, as I said, vassalize them right away. I will start scoring all of uh, Mecklenburg again. I'll be doing a uh, fixing of my navies, I'll be doing some, uh, probably some uh, tax buildings, get my uh, manpower back up, things like that, so uh, we'll see, there's a lot of, a lot of fixing to be done, more or less, we'll see how, uh, how I fix it, more or less, should be, hopefully, work out just fine, as I said, we'll see how it plays out, so yeah, they actually had a uh, thing that actually s screws me over, the uh, overloaded banner, so, too surprising, really. Well, as a matter of fact, due to that, we're going to put a Savoy under our spell instead. That could uh, help us just as much. They do have a lot of calls here, four calls. We have to abandon Milan as an ally, though. But again, it's not really something that I would be uh, would be too concerned about. I'm also going to, I guess, vassalize uh, Bar here, and I think what we're actually just going to do then after that is go for straight out war with Austria. We're going to aim at getting ourselves up to uh, admin tech 17 here. We're going to save up military points. We're going to go for offensive. And we're going to just create a strong army that hopefully here can just walk straight over Austria. I'll probably also be starting to hunt down electors. And hopefully be able to, uh, through that, create myself a... Uh, or put myself in a much better position. We'll see that goes. I'll be vassalizing Bar and uh, Savoy. And I'll be rebuilding my navy. And we'll see if, uh, if I can do something after that. Just be a matter of hopefully I can, but I can't promise anything. We'll see how it goes. Diplomatic Tech 13 has been taking around Shipyard and Roth. With that, we get uh, set buildings. And also, as you can see, I'm also up to using a lot of money and admin points on some building projects. So at least that is coming along nicely. And hopefully, we can get ourselves uh, or put ourselves in a better position with this. But again, it's kind of doubtful. We'll simply have to uh, have to hope that I can pull something off again. As I said, kind of doubtful. Don't really want Holstein. It's just a single province, so it's not really that, not really that important, to be perfectly honest. Again, vassalization of these guys still is going to take quite a while, and I really need to. I really want to screw over Austria, so we will be uh, we'll be focusing on getting ourselves in a position where we can potentially do that. They also have taken Bar as a vassal, and Savoy has gone two provinces back. So any plans that I had that involved them have been uh, completely shattered. More or less, and that is uh, that's of course kind of bad, but not completely uh, not completely well unexpected, I guess I should say. So we'll have to we'll have to play around that for now. However, just have to uh, have to wait here. There are some rebels that need to be dealt with. Unfortunately, there isn't really much I can do about that for the time being. I am going to hire have a uh, explorer conquistador. And the reason for that is so that I can find the or just find the coastal provinces in uh, in this area here, and potentially also march north and fix that, and then uh, hopefully make sure that no one else can take any land in uh, in the area. 
that is at least the uh, the plan here. I have no idea how it will actually work out. We have some Flemish uh, Patriots here in Antwerpen. So I definitely need to uh, get myself into a position where I can fight Netherlands soon, I think. Unfortunately, my navy is uh, a little bit away, so it will still take uh, quite a while before we can do that. I'm earning quite a lot of money, mostly due to the fact that, well, armies are, are scarce at the moment, 64 of 208. So I definitely need to build up my armies, and that is probably what we'll be doing next time. It'll probably just be an exclusively uh, build up armies, fix everything that went wrong episode. And it'll probably be a little bit boring, but again, not really too much I can do about that. I kind of have to uh, to fix my country, set it up right, and then we'll start fighting. During this time, however, I'm pretty sure that we'll send uh, an expedition over to India. Start getting some provinces there, so we're basically going to uh, most likely go for colonizing one of these islands to get a closer call. And then we're going after India, and probably we're also going to aim at colonizing, uh, colonizing Taiwan here if we can. And those girls start going after Japan too. So again, there's a lot of potential uh, potential things to attack here. Japan also has uh, contact with Russia, so that could also be a little bit interesting. And potentially then I could just march through Russia here, actually to Japan, and then march here. But deals that are necessary to make something like that work makes it kind of a, well, impossible, impossible attempt more or less. But as you can see, I can actually... I can actually walk there if I want to, but I do need a core in the area, so that wouldn't really help too much. We also will most likely, again, be fighting Aragon and Castile, trying to get them once and for all out of the colonization race, and hopefully pull that off. That is at least what I'm planning to do here. But uh, we'll be fo focusing on, well, improving the realm, stabil 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 wow, stabilizing it, sorry, and hopefully we can do that without too much fuss. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you next time. Bye.